Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the 55-gallon bin, affectionately known as Blue. So let's peel back the bubble wrap here and see what we've got. Definitely got some sprouts. Looking over at the bubble wrap, there are some worms hanging out, good amount of castings. And last week was the first time we fed the full length, and it looks like they certainly have moved down here all the way on their own, and I haven't had to do a thing. Alright, now, let's see, I'm trying to look at this without moving my hand, and um, as D Worms had talked about, every once in a while there is a tiny little snail, which I'm trying to get focused for you guys. It is the tiniest of snails. It is barely any bigger than a worm cocoon. So, um, as mentioned by other people, when your bin is being, you know, created from outside components, such as leaves, you do get other creatures that are undesirable. So, um, that is true. So today I'm going to put you up and then we're going to take a look in on the bin. Let's take a look in on the new end of the bin where we just started feeding last week. So I'm just going to kind of slowly take some of the stuff off the top and see when we start running into worms. This is all a good moisture level here. Looks like may have run into some wormies here. Or a lot of wormies. Yay. Look at that. Avocado worm ball. Let's see how long this worm ball goes. Moldy fruit. Moldy citrus fruit in particular. But let's see, we've got feeding that went from here to, I don't even know how far did it go. Looks like it went from here to here. And it looks like we have a pretty good worm ball the full length still have some citrus that's not done. We did look in on some forbidden food. These are the tortilla chips. Doesn't look like they've really gotten into those yet. Kind of kick everything off to the side that's not finished. But uh, here's another example of the forbidden food issue. Um, this is a lime and the worms are inside of it. If they were bothered in the least they would not be in here. Um, I have had the same experience with frozen limes as well as putting fresh limes. After a certain amount of time, they just are, are fine with it. So it looks like we've got a little apple goo left over. So that's, that's good. Ooh, there's a, let's see if I can get under it. What have I got here? That's the whole worm ball. I do have a lot of worms in here. And uh, we've got the red worms, the red wigglers, we've got European night crawlers, and we have the blue worms. They're not real big in here, but they are numerous. 
So that's nice. You guys move over there and see what else I've got in here. I think the worm, the worm ball goes even deeper. Yeah, it does. You can actually hear them. Weird, right? So if I was trying to catch a bunch of worms, I certainly would have managed to get that done in here. Still finding tons and tons of worms in this area. All the way down to the bottom. Alright, well, looks like they've done pretty good with their apple goo and their citrus feeding. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back. And then I am going to move and give them some feedings down at the other end of the bin. Just so that they stay completely spread out and are utilizing the full length of the bin. All right, let me see if I can tilt, tilt the camera here. All right, so the feeding was from here down that way. So I'm going to make a tunnel, and we're going to feed at this end of the bin. I'm kind of just looking around, seeing, seeing what we have here. Seems like the worms are kind of dispersed, which is normal. They've got their leaves to eat and whatever paper bedding and etc. there is going on in here. So I will just kind of make a little bit of a trough here. And I'm going to grab up some of this dry paper that's been in the corner, paper and leaves, and then I'm going to get them some apple goo. Alright. Well, considering how much we fed them last time, and there's really nothing left with the exception of a, just a tiny little bit of citrus, I'm going to go ahead and give them a pretty good size feeding. So this is just ground up little tiny crab apples. I'm going to spread that out. And they have got more than enough grit and whatnot in here, but I am going to cover that up with the, with the dry bedding that's in here. And then cover that up with the good, nice, uh, moist castings. These guys look like they're doing really well. Uh, the moisture is retaining in this finally. We're getting some good weather here in Illinois. It's uh, up over freezing for a couple, two or three days now. It's nice. Um, and it's having a, a nice effect on the moisture level in the bin. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to cover them back up. Make sure get the right side bubbles down. And that will be it for today. Uh, they're doing good. They're going through food very quickly now that it's, it's getting warmer out. So pretty excited about that. So if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.